There's also, there's a different video for what is motion. And then um, if you look at the, and this is where we introduce all different types of motion. And then, so you show the video and then at the end of the lesson, you can extend it maybe the next day and the students identify the types of motion that they see in the video. So there's um, students sliding down a slide. There's um, what, is what is motion. So there's students, um, and it's all kid friendly. Kids um, sliding down a slide, bouncing a ball, swinging on a swing, and they're able to identify the different types of motion um, through the videos. And as a teacher, I would be doing this, and you saw what we could do time-wise. Yeah. And you're actually doing it at the same time. And this is not a difficult video. It's for reinforcing an idea. So the videos, if they don't have the content, you can still do them. And you can stop when you see movement and say, who can identify that type of motion? Um, and then... Based on the lesson, you can identify it as uniform, periodic, or um, varied.